In this video, we will learn control valve prevent maintenance in oil and gas plant. Activities to do before starting the preventive maintenance job. We should check. Ensure a proper work permit is available for the respective control valve. Make sure that test and calibration instruments are calibrated and check their validity. One sample of the calibration sticker which is attached to every test and calibration instrument. Identify the hazards one day before the job. Carry all mandatory personal protective equipment PPE and special PPE if required. Check the valve fail action and air filter regulator. Set pressure from the data sheet of the control valve. Control valve preventive maintenance procedure. First of all, take appropriate work permits and take necessary approvals. Then inform operation engineers regarding the control valve stroke check activity fit we will do during the PM job so that they can prepare accordingly. If there are any interlocks, then inform the operation engineers and force the required logic and log the activity. Then we have to check the air pressure in the air filter and confirm its value with the air pressure mentioned in the control valve data sheet. Now using a Snoop liquid leak detector or any other leak detector, check all the air tubing and all the connections for air leakage. Open the control valve positioner's cover and check the tightness of all the cable connections. Also, if I2P converter is used, then check cable connection tightness in I2P also. If the cable lugs are not proper, the cable Relugging is to be done. Check the supply voltage. If the feedback to the valve positioner is through the mechanical link, then check its condition. If the mechanical link is corroded, then replace the mechanical link. Also check other valve accessories condition air volume booster, trip valve, quick exhaust valve, etc. if available. Isolate the instrument supply air and vent the Remaining air in the supply line to check the control valve fail action. Restore the instrument air tubing after making the valve normal. And check the fail action after removing the signal cable. Now ask the control room operator to give commands from 0% to 100% with increments. In general, we use 0%, 25%, 50%, 75%. percent percent calibration points. Similarly, check the valve stroke in decrement from 100% to 0% in steps. If there is no facility to give input from the control room, then connect the heart communicator or MOS source or BMEX to the control valve for giving the commands from the field directly. Note down values as shown in the table. If valve command versus travel and feedback is not satisfactory, then do the calibration of the control valve. Again, repeat stroke test if calibration is done. Apply a calibration sticker on the control valve with the appropriate due date. Clean the control valve. Normalize the logic if forced. Close the work permit. Fill up the calibration record. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel for instrumentation, electrical, PLC and SCADA video tutorials.